Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out two more of your guys' solar systems and yes I did say two, we've got two systems to check out in the, today's episode so the first one is from the user Chris472 and then the second one is from the user Brandon Weeks. so we'll go ahead and uh, check both of those out so the, yeah the first one is from uh, yeah um Chris472, hope I'm saying there, Brave Knight, and their system is called the Remantia system. So that's actually on the workshop. So I've got that. That should all be. Uh, where are we? So it should be here. Uh, where are we? So it should be. There it is. Okay. So let's see what they have got for us here. Right. So the Remantia uh, system. So good evening. This is a medium sized system that I hope you all relish. Be sure to have any tips or comments on my YouTube channel, which can be found here. Ah, okay. Um, anything. Um, I could like to add is that the blue dots on the third planet are domes that intelligent life forms live in. All right, cool. Right, cool. So there's the star itself. So if we look at it here, so pretty large in size as we can see. All right, so pretty big zone as well there. All right. So first object is an energy collector. All right, cool. Right, first of the planets, a very very rainbow gassy. Like a rainbow deluxe gas giant, actually. Yeah, that look really nice, actually. Looks good. It's got 200 degrees. So let's actually have a little comparison with that and my rainbow deluxe, actually. So where is that? so that's, uh, that's the one I have next to it. So that one's quite a nice looking one, actually. I do quite like that compared to the one I've got here. It's a cool looking one. So, yeah, looking good. I'll get a little copy of that, actually. That's a nice looking, uh, nice looking one. Nice. But yeah, there's that one. First of the planets. So we're going very exotic looking. Uh, next up, we have another energy collector. Next planet out, we have Resi. So it's a all red, pretty hot looking world there. It's, it's got a few crater marks on it as well. You can definitely see some impact marks. So, okay. So there's Resi. Next up, we've got Dome Station. So that's what he was talking about with the blue dots. Those are like little pockets. So they're there where there were civil or civilization. It was really weird looking world as well. Okay. Then it's got some satellites in orbit as well. Okay. Moving on. We have got this one here. Dentesis T. So this one is a uh, all ocean world with some orange clouds. 187 degrees on it as well. So really a uh, really hot ocean there. Okay. Next up, we have got Aturi. This one's at minus 20 degrees. Pretty Earth like looking as well. So it is there. Stat wise, 95 and 0 on life. Okay, interesting. Probably it's quite cold, I don't know. Uh, so there it is. Also got some more satellites around it. Wames, Wames Jeb te Space Telescope. <laughs> Also got a small little moon here. It's one of the asteroid moons, and then there's also uh, this moon here, slightly larger moon. Okay, nice. So that's both of those guys. Next up, we got Monster. So that's a more purpley shaded one, 22 degrees here, so a little warmer than the previous uh, Earth-like one. Two moons on it as well. Okay. Nice. Okay, next up we have got uh, RS and then a bunch of numbers. A lot of numbers. <laughs> so there it is there. So we're going for a more purpley shaded gas giant with some yellow bands on it as well. Robite. We've got Ront. NST. So just a bunch of random moons on it as well. Okay. Next up we've got Blue over here. Hey, it's the custom Neptune. Look. Hey, nice. It, yeah, it literally is custom neptune uh, made by mad planet guy back in the day that literally is it there so pretty cool nice well either way it's very similar if it isn't i mean it does look very similar maybe it is maybe it's just a little different actually i don't know it looks a little more pale on the blue but yeah there's that we've got frost and nastas around here as well nice very very nice indeed right next up uh, we got HIP24093, and that looks to be the last, or well, HIP, probably not HIP, but yeah, there it is. So again, a uh, world sitting on the edge of the uh, system here. See how far away we are. 
Whoa. Semi major access. What is that in AU? Oh, that's pretty far. That's very far. Right. Remember, the star was quite large. There's a second one as well. All right. Very nice. So that's very far away. Looking good. So that does it for this system. So, yeah, guys, that was the Rimatia system submitted by the user Crisk472 in Discord. So, massive thank you to them for um, sending this one in. But, yeah, now moving on. So, we're checking out the next system from the user Brandon Weeks in Discord. So, this is the Velen system. So, let's go ahead and see what they've got here. VLAN system, VLAN system, something like that. Uh, right, open. Search it up. So here it is here. Right, let's see what we got. Ooh, okay. This is a binary star system in the Andromeda galaxy. One of the stars being close to a black dwarf star. Velen is the main star with three planets orbiting it, and the only Hathor one having its oceans made of liquid bromine. Okay. One of the infinity stones, the power stone, orbits Velen. There is only one gas giant in this binary, but it doesn't have anything special with it. Helena, the other star of the binary, has two planets that can sustain life. One is the second planet and has colonized its moon. The other uh, has its oceans made of lava, which those creatures survive on. Recently, the lava creatures made a powerful device, powerful lasers, powerful enough to destroy a whole planet. And the reason they know this is because they tested it on one of the non-living planets and have done lots of destruction to it. I hope you like this short and intermediate sized system. Right. Interesting. So there is a star. Says this. Says Velen. Okay. And we got planet Onyx in orbit there. So is this the black dwarf he's referring to? Because obviously it still has a bit of temperature to it. And then uh, there's uh, Rasil over here. It's pretty uh, pretty dangerous looking there. Okay. Then we've got Lunax over here. That's a very nice looking gas giant. do like that. Let's have a better look at it. I like. I really like. Yeah, I like it. I'll get a little copy of that for the collection. Why not? Uh, then it's Onia over here. Okay, got a few par fragment particles as well. Look, you can see them. Look carefully; they are there. See them all there. Okay, right. And then moving over here, so power stone. So what is this thing? So this is what's well, purple. And there's uh, in the dark. But it's okay. And then over here, so we've got Helena. So this is the normal-looking star. Okay, so that one over there probably is the black dwarf he was referring to. We've got more two over here. With a glitch line on it, there, it's a bit weird. All right, next up, we got uh, okay, so we got Carmedi. So that's a nice earth like, well, I'd say, earth like world. It doesn't look visually wise, but yeah, hatchable wise, yeah, it's got some stats to it. And then we also have this moon here, it looks quite similar to the parent planet as well. So it's both of those guys. Uh, and then we have o, uh, Ovidia. What has happened? Whoa! Oh, so this is, is this the world they were saying about being tested on? Or, oh, wow. Okay, play. Hoo-hoo! So are those going to crash into it? Or they are dangerously close. They're, they're hovering just, what, a few miles up? I mean, look, they're right on top of it. <laughs> look at this! That's a bit wacky, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, there's been a collision as well <laughs> between the two. That's not... Oh. Oh, my God. What's happened to this world? That doesn't look good. That looks very, very dodgy. Oh, my God. That's uh, that's bad. <laughs> Surely this ain't going to last forever. These are going to get destroyed or it's going to crash into the planet or what? Because that is... That's very, very dodgy. <laughs> I mean, how, how, long, how long is that going to last for? I mean, they are dangerously close. Oh, there's no way that can last forever, surely. But you can see there's a huge crater mark on it now. Oh, oh, hang on, something's gone. Oh, 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 what happened there? That was bad. The sank broke. There's that big crater on it. Look at that. Oh, man. Okay, so that's uh, 
That's a big bad. That's very bad. Uh, <laughs> next up, we've got Aya. Ionis over here. So that looks like it's got an orange ocean to it, actually, underneath there. Well, that's definitely an orange ocean. Look, we'll turn the water off here. Okay, nice. Then we got this one. Entas. And then we got uh, Gez... Gezkid over here as well. Okay. Looking good. And then that's also in the binary with the Velen over here. Okay, cool. So that does it for this system. So quite an interesting one. I was a little... I'd, I'd have to say, I was trying to understand what the description all said. But, um, yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's actually open it again, because I want to read that description again. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's a, a binary star system in the Andromeda Galaxy. It's one of the stars... Oh, it's close to being a black dwarf. So that's definitely Velen, then. Velen is the main star of three planets orbiting, and the one Hatful, one Resil, having its oceans made of liquid bromine. Ah, that's the one we saw with the colours. Uh, one of the Infinity Stones to pass own orbits of Velen. There's only one gas giant in this binary, but it doesn't have anything special with it. So Haluna, the other star, has uh, two planets that can sustain life. One is the second planet at Conlight, its movement, and the other has oceans made of lava. So that's the one we saw with the orange oceans. Okay. Cool. All right, interesting. That makes a little more sense reading back on it now as well. But yeah, there it is. So that does it for this system, the Velen system. So that was from the user Brandon Weeks. So yeah, massive thank you to them and Crisk472 for sending in their simulations for this series. And yeah, that all said and done, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 25,000 subscribers. And yeah, see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video. But yeah, that all said and done, guys. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.